Today we're talking about how crafting has changed entirely. So everything that you used to know about this game or thought you knew, you might as well just go ahead and forget it. And if you haven't bought the goddamn game, now's the time to do so. Use the link in the description. Go ahead and pick it up right now. Thank me later. All right. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about how the systems have fundamentally changed, especially if you guys have played before, uh, because it's pretty dramatic, it, it, actually monumental. Now, I think it's a really, really good thing that they've they fine-tuned the crafting and the profession system, and I'm talking specifically to my crafters right now, okay? To my PvPers and my soloists, okay? Duoists, that's... A, I'm talking to y'all in a different video, but you guys can still glean some stuff from this video. But what you guys will notice is you guys are looking at a character right now that's completely fresh, okay? I just made this character. This character's brand new. Um, started him yesterday, just working on professions because what I wanted to see was if they put the money where their mouth is, right? Did they do the things that they said that they were going to deliver on and how does it work and how does it affect new players? Um, so we're going through this new process and we're seeing all of this and I got to tell you guys, I'm absolutely blown away, but why? Because for the first time, um, you actually feel, or I actually felt like right out of the gate, I was playing the game. You guys may have heard some reviews and Rose talking about oh, it's just a building simulator, um, which you guys can see I ain't built shit, <laughs> okay? Uh, because I wanted to see how fast essentially you could just plug into the game. And in order to do that, we need to know how efficient or inefficient it is to get into the professions. Or if you don't want to get into the professions, how efficient it is to get your basic starter set and get out there ripping and running, okay? And I got to tell you, it's much, much faster. Now, small disclaimer, although the game is much more accessible now, it feels more like an MMO, uh, all of the professions, getting into combat, all of that stuff is more accessible, but the game itself is not easier, okay? It just feels easier. But <laughs> as you ramp up, um, yeah, the same rules still apply. Uh, they just make you feel good about it as you're going through it, all right? So let me tell you how this affects you. So let's say you plop down in this world, you're ass naked, you don't know what the hell you want to do. You know you want to be a legendary blacksmith or a weaponsmith, and you want to get to it. What they've done is they've streamlined the entire flow for all of the professions. Tailoring, uh, you know, uh, blacksmithing, leatherworking, everything. All right. Now, what I want you guys to keep in mind, though, is that the game is now designed in a way that you can just hit the ground running. So, for example, we used to go from stone to impure iron, which felt like there was a huge ass gap. OK, but now if you guys are getting into the game, you guys are noticing that the resources are all reallocated. They have solo camps for enemies where you can do in small groups or by yourself. Um, and then you also have resources everywhere. OK, and this is just the beginning. We still got a whole ecosystem coming, fishing, farming, all kinds of craziness. Right. But that's a different video. But as you get into this, this allows you to just jump right in. So you want to be the, the best leather worker myself. Then I know that I just need to craft some gear, get the fuck out there, start, you know, killing stuff, skinning stuff, gathering hides, processing, get it back and get the fuck back out there. If I want to get, be a blacksmith, understand that the entire process has changed. If I'm coming into blacksmithing, I know that now I'm going into bronze. So I'm taking my stone tools and I'm going to hit the bronze stuff so I can go through the bronze age first before I get to the iron age. You guys heard them tease that in the discord. But what this does is now they are fine tuning each individual tier of technology. So your gameplay flow is smooth. It goes from A to B to C to D. You want to take a break and go in a different loop? You can and then come back right where you left off. Now, unfortunately, they did nerf a lot of the stuff that we used to tease. I'm talking to you specifically, tailors, because that was probably the easiest profession to level before. However, not the case. Another key thing that I've noticed, and this is still going to take some testing because I'm still testing this across multiple professions. But I'm starting to notice that uh, because we used to have this complaint about, like, why are these, you know, recipes so much more expensive and when I could just craft this cheap shit, right? Um, but what I'm noticing is that I'm getting significantly more experience total for the more expensive stuff than I am the cheap stuff. So if I'm just crafting a part versus just crafting a whole piece, um, I'm noticing some differentiation between the value of XP. Now, I'm still testing this. I, I've seen it um, 
happen in some cases, not all cases, but in most cases I've seen this. So I want to test this a little bit thoroughly as I continue to level up this character and, and look at all of the different facets. Now, what this is starting to do is incentivize you actually crafting higher quality shit, right? Or materials that actually, or pieces that cost more instead of saying like, oh yeah, you know, I get 240 XP for this and also get 240 XP for this. So I might as well just craft the cheapest shit, right? Because it's cost efficient. So also uh, what I will say, especially if you guys are solo or duo in the crafting scene, please be careful gambling on your two stars, right? You know, for the probability, because it can be costly, especially if you're trying to get off the ground quick. I made that mistake, okay? Because before it, it was a little different and now it's a bit more costly, especially getting into the recipes as you move through the transitions. So just you've been forewarned. But the beautiful thing about this though, guys, is they've adjusted the system more so as you get into this you still have to pick stuff up and touch things to discover things but it's now more based on your skill level so it's almost to a point now where as you're working on this and putting your time and your energy and your effort into the professions it feels like you're actually leveling up when you discover that new recipe or you touch that new item now keep in mind that it's still the same if you touch some items that may un may have unlocked recipes in the past and you don't have them anymore, it's because a key profession hasn't been leveled up. So for example, uh, last night one of our guys, uh, Foss, he was running into problems not being able to find out how to produce steel, uh, but it was recently changed that you have to get your blacksmithing to 30, at least that's what they were saying in, in the Discord, in, in order to get access to the higher tier stuff. So now that they're optimizing the flow of technology, it's incentivizing actual progression in the game, which makes it feel more rewarding to actually get into the game and play it the way that you want. Now, as I mentioned before, guys, this character is fresh, so I'm testing all of the professions. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at blacksmith. I'm looking at cooking. I'm looking at tailoring. Uh, pretty soon, uh, once we get this jewel crafting station up, we'll be looking at that. And for my jewel crafters out there, jewel crafting is a lot easier now. You can get gems and all that stuff from rocks and stuff. So no more having to just like sit at imp camps for 57 uh, million days or, you know, limited to ju just dungeon farms. Like the, the right gems are dropping out of the right places. So it's much easier to level. And that's going to be a huge thing, especially when stats start coming back to jewels and spells. Okay, so just get ready for that. All right. Now. <clears throat> As far as everything else goes, though, um, because they've made these adjustments and these changes in all of the professions and, you know, for my Fletchers out there, you guys are going to want to start paying attention to uh, the damage multipliers between bows that have higher piercing with the types of arrows that you're using. Okay, just keep that in mind um, as you move through this and the type of bow. All right. So as the, these systems evolve, they are going to continue to get more and more complex and they're going to have more and more features that we are going to have to pay attention to to get the biggest bang for our buck. And Lord forbid they start doing gem sockets on equipment uh, for jewel crafters and, you know, maybe they introduce enchanters or something. But either way, uh, it's going to be wild. Now, I want you guys to keep that in mind, especially considering that all of our armor design eventually is going to end up modular, which means that all the skill system and stuff will probably end up the same. So keeping that in consideration with how you guys are planning your future professions and or your current professions is going to be incredibly important. And the reason I say that is because this game, I don't think is about just feeling a profession because nobody else is doing it. I think this game is designed in a way for you to pick the ideal profession, whether that's combat and or crafting, that you prefer because over time there's going to be diminishing returns as these professions get harder and harder and harder to advance. And then you have the opportunity to be a pioneer on your storefront because you are the highest cake maker, the highest nail colorer, the highest, you know, backflip or whatever, right? And as you guys think about this kind of stuff, um, it adds a certain level of passion and excitement to this game um, that I, I, I don't think you can find in any other game. So with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Just wanted to share some thoughts uh, about this whole crafting system revamp. It's fucking crazy, man. I'm telling y'all, if y'all haven't bought this game yet, you guys can find a link to pick this amazing game up in the description box. Hey, it's only getting better every single update. And this was just the first one. It's already crazy. Just imagine what it's going to be like in six months. Okay. And if you guys are looking for the ultimate gaming community, look no further than unhinged.gg. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.